Perfect. Welcome. This is Casey Miller and Gina Hazzy. We're coming to you from Tempe, Arizona on behalf of National, Knife, National Life Coaching Month. Thank you for being willing. I am so <laughs> over the moon and grateful. Thank you. <laughs> Absolutely. So thank you for tuning in and what we would invite you to do is if along the way there is something that Gina says that is related to you or that you can relate with, please just uh, make a comment about it. So, I'm sure you've had many, many coaching sessions, yes? Very lucky to, yes. Yes, good. But none with you. That's right. That's none right. with so you. So every, every coaching th session is a little different. So different. Yes, yes. So what I'd love to consider is a model. Oftentimes a coach will use a model. Mm. And so the model today, if you would be willing, would be to use SANE. S-A-N-E. Okay. <laughs> so one of the questions is, has there been a time in your life, let's just even say this last year, mm -hmm. when you were on a whirlwind, that you ever felt insane? Oh, how about every day? Every day, okay. <laughs> so I'm sure that some of you can relate that there may have been days that you have felt insane. If mm -hmm. so, maybe you'll just type in, I can relate. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Hi, thank you. Hi, Kelly. Yes. So, insane, what does insane feel like for you? Yeah, so it's, I'm glad that you asked that because I, I paused before I answered because um, usually insane feels wrong to me. Ooh, insane feels wrong. Right. Oh. So insane has always, there's been judgment around insane. Yes. You know, insane okay. is like not good or yes. not acceptable. Yes. But this year, because so much has changed in my life and because the platform that I'm on is all about coloring outside of the lines of the expected and what's mm -hmm. predictable and what we want to be, I'm starting to expand my awareness about what insane really means. Ah. Like who decides what's, what's insane, insane okay. and what's insane. Okay. So, all right. Yeah, but I do. I do still feel insane because I don't feel like I'm, I'm conforming. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, is there ever a time that the insanity is such that you're like you just want to pull back the veil of misunderstanding of? Oh gosh, yeah. I think. Much of uh, the struggle for me has always been to be understood Ooh. and realizing that maybe that's maybe I'm wasting a lot of energy. <laughs> like, oh. why am I spending so much energy trying to explain yes. who I am and trying to justify my choices and yes. my decisions and why I'm doing what I'm doing? And so I'm trying to resist that. It's not easy. Okay. It's not easy. So, I, one of the words that I hear you use sometimes is magic. Mm. I love that word. You love that I'm word. I'm a former magician. You're a former magician. Yeah. All right. Well, I just happen to have for you today a little coaching tool, a little oh. mus musici or musician. Ah! So this is a Southwest feather. It's a little shaman tool. And imagine, yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Gorgeous. So imagine that right now, just for the purpose of this coaching session, mm -hmm. or maybe the rest of your life, <laughs> yes. You could imagine that this would be a way for you just to pull back the avidia of your life, the insanity of your life, mm. the confusion, or the not knowingness. Mm. Ooh. Like when you imagine, like, wow, you're sitting with a tool right. that can literally pull back the unknowing, the confusion. Like, just try that for a moment. Just like, mm. ooh. <laughs> so what's that feel like when you when you pull back a veil mm -hmm. of unknowing I, the first word that comes up is it feels sexy so okay, it sexy? Feels okay. like sexy as in like mysterious mysterious and um Ooh. and a little bit i want to say naughty but almost like daring daring yeah. do you see what's happening to my i'm like whoa i'm getting god bumps truth, I mean, yeah, truth that, bumps that's truth what bumps, I, yeah. truth bumps. so it's, it's amazing so when we think about sane, mm. imagine that we're sitting in ceremony mm. and that this is a ceremonial feather that only you have the key to. Mm. And that if you are wanting to know something that you literally can pull back. Mm. Whoa. Mm. Yeah. So can you imagine sitting in ceremony? Mm -hmm. yeah. So what would you do with a feather in ceremony? if you were sitting with something? Mm. 
what's coming to me is it feels like a paintbrush. Ooh. It feels like I want to dip it in something. Okay. And I want right. to I want to paint something, create something. So okay. there's something creative about it. Okay. So we're in this 2020, mm. and you have this paintbrush mm. of possibilities. Mm. Like just imagine that it's like something's there, and you have been sitting with a question. Have you at all been sitting with a question? Oh. How many questions? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's an interesting thing. How many questions? Yeah. So like, just start to look at, who, if I were to call in mm. my my knowing, mm. and I was just sitting with something, like what would be one or two of the things right now that comes to your awareness that you're sitting with? Questions. Questions. Decisions. Emotions. Yeah. Like, yeah. I just like, ooh, what would you have me know? Yeah, so the big thing bubbling up is that um, a lot of opportunity shows up for me. I'm mm. great at manifesting opportunity. Mm. My knee jerk reaction is to want to say yes to everything oh. because I don't want to miss anything. And if mm -hmm. it's come my way, the universe spirit has said, you're ready for this. This is, I'm bringing you this person, I'm bringing you this opportunity, I'm bringing yes. you this travel, I'm bringing you this. And so I feel. I don't want to disrespect or dishonor the opportunity mm. by saying no. So a lot of it is discerning Yes. what is actually in my highest, best interest and not. And so for me, this past year has been about saying yes to almost everything. Mm. And and truly looking back, everything's been worth it. Yes. And, and I'm exhausted. Okay, there <laughs> you go. That's right? the truth. That's yeah, truth. the truth is I'm exhausted. And I'm, and I'm also wondering... I, you know, I resist so much the hustle, the idea that we have to hustle, mm. and I teach pleasure principles. I mean, it's what I, the teacher teaches what they have to learn, yes, so yes. I teach rest and pleasure, and yet, um, there's this fine line between wanting to say yes to, to things and to life, yeah, and um, also slowing down. Yes. So how many of you relate with Gina right now, that you sometimes say yes when you're wondering about it, um, and just... So when you're sitting with it, so many opportunities, anything else you're sitting with that you would bring into ceremony? Hmm. It's so sacred, you're like, oh my gosh, I'm going to bring this into ceremony and I'm going to offer it up. Um, I don't know if this is what you're looking for, but I'll tell you what's bubbling for me. is yes. uh, What's bubbling up for me is wanting to make sure that I'm not wasting anything. Ooh. Whether it's my talent, my gifts, my op again, my opportunities, yes. not wasting. So am I using myself to my fullest capacity? Wow. So what a great question. If something comes in, you could say, is this a waste? Yeah. Or is this worth it? Yeah. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Now, have you found your God finger? <laughs> No, I need to. It sounds like I need to. So sometimes it's the God finger, sometimes it's the good finger. So okay. uh, it's it's almost always on your left hand. And you know, let's just say that you want to say stop. Like, show me your stop. Your finger that would be a stop finger. Yeah, I guess yeah that's that was that's your finger. Okay. Yeah. Like, just imagine you're saying, "Hey, listen, divine. Hey, listen, Gus, yeah, God, be universe. Yeah, yeah, it'd be that. Okay, yeah. so that'd be your finger. Yeah. So would you imagine that you could trust this finger? Okay. 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 So imagine you could trust this finger. Okay. So imagine the right now, you, you say, I want this finger to tell me yes. So like, have this finger, use your other right hand, and just say, tell me yes, finger. Tell me yes, finger. So like, yes. Give it a strong yes. Yes. Yes? yes? Okay. I even like, if it's yes, is it, is it, is it strong? Yes. So that's yes. You know that that's yes. yes. So yeah. is your name Gina? Sure yes. is. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm going to ask you another question, and your body is going to know the right answer, okay? Would you be willing to adopt out your children this year? <laughs> no. no, see? <laughs> no. Like that, your finger knows, because right. that, you, you know. Okay. So some people call this the good finger, or it's the God finger, okay. or it's just, it's the finger of knowing. <laughs> right. So, this is going to be an interesting thing. You have, is it true that you have so many opportunities? Yes, it is. Yeah, it is. Are all of those opportunities worth it? <laughs> mm -hmm. No. No. Okay. okay. So let's now, let's go to the A of the same. 
what would we want to ask in ceremony? Let's look at maybe two or three of the opportunities that you're wondering about, that you're not quite sure of. Okay. Um, writing another book. Writing another book. Ooh. What else? Um, going back on tour. Ooh, going back on tour. Mm -hmm. Okay, what else? Um, um, having people, hiring a team again. Hiring a team again, woo. It's a big decision. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, creating an online um, course. Creating online course or courses? Courses. Courses, okay. Just want to make sure she that knows me. I just want to she make sure that me. Edits there. Okay. <laughs> I like courses. Okay. Yeah. All right. How many of you are relating to this? That that you like Gina or asking whether you want to write another book this year or write a book this year, go back on tour, hire a team, online courses, anything else that, that you've been sitting with mm. that you're really wondering about. Mm. Yeah, well, I want to just expand on one of them. Like, yes. Hiring a team is like, um, do I need another, do I need more people to help me? Like, how, how many, who should I be going to? Who, mm. what inform more information do I need? Um, you know, there's obvi there are obviously pieces, and we talk yes. about this, there are pieces that I don't know about marketing, about business, about all the things that aren't my zone of genius. Mm -hmm. You know, how many people and who should I... Oh, it's just exhausting. Can you it's hear exhausting, exhausting just talking right, about so it? Let's it's just like, take, let's how just many take, coaches? How many? Right. Yeah. Let's take this feather and just put exhaustion oh. right here. Like this, uh, Exhaustion, bye-bye. Bye-bye. So like just do ceremony around exhaustion. Okay. Like, mm -hmm. Yes, okay. All right. So now yep. that, that, that finger, that good finger, yeah. let's just get real clear. We're asking. Mm -hmm. And when you ask, who is the source of ask for you? Is it is it... God's source? Is it Gina's source? Like, what's the source in which you ask? Spirit source. Spirit, spirit source. So, let's just say, oh, divine spirit source. Mm. Am I to write a book this next year? Okay. Divine spirit source. Am I to write another book this year? Hmm. Feels like a yes. Feels like a yes. yes. Is there any part that isn't yes? Okay, so let's just, mm -hmm. so this is going to be crazy, but we'll just, yeah. oh, divine spirit source, is Gina supposed to write a book about golf this next year? <laughs> <laughs> My finger's like, rrr, rrr, rrr. <laughs> So it's not about golf. Definitely no. not about golf. Okay, it's not about golf. No. You see, when we ask and we get really clear, and sometimes we have to get absurd. Right. Absurd. It's about not it. golf, y'all. It's not golf. It's no. not golf. Okay. <laughs> What what are the questions you've been sitting with about what the book could possibly be about? Mm. I have an idea of what the book could possibly be about. My question around the book is timing. Oh, okay. Okay. Like, how All much right. time is the time right now? Is it later on this year? Like, we should, should, is that urgent? Okay. Yeah. So, let's ask that. Okay. Let's ask that. Okay. So, is O Divine Source, Spirit Source, is it urgent for Gina to work on a book the first quarter of 2002? Mm. So no, no, no. So yeah. like that's not no. no. All right, so let's just check it out. Okay. Oh, divine spirit, would you have Gina work on her book this summer? Hmm. That feels that feels pretty more good. solid. More solid. Okay. All okay. right. All right. <laughs> the finger knows. The finger does know. The finger does know. All right. Let's ask it one more time. Okay. Oh, divine spirit, would you allow Gina to release the thought of writing a book this year? Mm, not so really. not really. Not okay, really. so I go okay. All right. It so, actually wants to go. Like yeah. This. <laughs> mm -hmm. Isn't that amazing? Mm. It's like we do know. We right. do know. We right. can absolutely trust that. So let's just let's just um, keep going just a little bit down. Let's ask this. Oh, divine spirit, would you go back on tour in 2020? Mm. So that. Mm, mm. Mm. Okay. What? What? Okay. So let's just do it. Oh, Divine Spirit, would you have Gina be strategic about her tour in 2020? Mm. Okay, that's a yes. That's a yes. Yeah. So is that anything different than you've already known? Um, no, I do know that I need to be strategic. Okay. I don't know how, so that probably okay. goes into in who's going to help me. <laughs> who's going to help you? Okay, yeah. all right, yeah. all right. Who's going to help you? Yeah. And so that's one of our assignments, who's going to help you? Now let's just go down to the N, insane. 
tell me what it isn't. Like, it's not that. Like, Casey, I know it's not that. Like, tell me about 2020 and you know it's not that. Mm. 2020 is not about being reactive. Reactive, so no reactive. Yeah, it's not about having no plan whatsoever. <laughs> it's, it's not about the no plan. It's not about the no plan. It's not about just being loosey-goosey, because okay. that's what I was this year. Okay. And spontaneous. Okay. So it's not about that. Okay. Um, it's not about um, just doing things for fun, but having, having some... Again, strategy in mind. Did you feel yourself like... Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 yeah. I had a lot of fun this year. I had a lot of fun. And I allowed myself to have fun. Yes. You yeah. know, I said, this is going to be fun. I didn't plan for this. It was going to be fun. Yeah. But now it's like, okay, let's let's figure out okay. how to make it fun and sustainable and financially uh, rewarding and, um, sust and, you know, a plan for long term. So it's not just in the moment. I've been very in the moment this year. Okay. So that's not what it is. That's that's not what it is. That's not what it is. Do you see how important it is to get clear about what it's not? Yeah, I like that it's not. It's not. I, it's not as much much easier than the what it is. Yeah. It's yeah. like, isn't that the yeah. truth? It's I, like you can carve away the yeah. knots easily. Yeah. And so it like, doesn't matter if it's a relationship, if it's a yeah. business, yes. uh, if it's your body, it's not this. Like yeah. I'm clear. It's I like not the knots. That. The I knots like are the fun. <laughs> I like the knots. You know uh, what it does? It, it clears a lot of this, yes, the clutter yes. away. Yeah, okay. yeah, at so least I know this. what it's not. Yeah, yeah. so it's, it's not good. This. It's good. It's Do, the this. Do the knots. Do the knots, y'all. Do the knots. All right, so those of you that are watching, listen to Gina. She's telling you to, to say what it is not. Yeah. Like, it is not this. It's also it's also releasing just to say what it's not. Isn't it, though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. just to say what it's not. Even yeah. though I, I thought about it, it's to say it. Right. Yeah. And so some of it is that it's, it, it's not going to be anything that wastes your time. Yes. Yeah, so that's we're getting clear about that. Okay. All right. Now the next word in sane is either evolve, enjoy, mm. ease. Like what's your E? Mm. Is this next year about evolving? About enjoying? about creating ease like what is the e in sane <laughs> yeah well all of those are good words but none of them are hitting me okay in the, in the heart okay so so let's it doesn't have to be an e okay it doesn't have to be an e it, everything could work i'm hearing eagle Ooh. <laughs> Eagle has a very, oh my God. very important meaning to me okay. because for me, I've been associated with an eagle a lot, but what I'm learning about eagles is that they fly high mm. and they swoop down when necessary, but they stay high. Wow. And I think for me, I've been stuck in the minutia yes. of details and things that I should not be focusing. That's not my area of genius. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so I've been spending a lot of time trying to figure out things that really other people could be helping me with or are better at or, or that's their genius. And yeah. so an eagle doesn't, isn't concerned with those details. Right. Um, yeah. And I, I think I've done it because um, I'm scared and yeah. I do it because I want to have some sense of control and I, for probably a million reasons, but, and maybe because I'm good at it too. I am good at it. Good at the details. Yeah, but there's a difference between being good at something yes. and being in your zone of genius about something. Yes. And so for me, eagle is just, is, is symbolic of staying in my zone staying in my flow where I'm supposed to be, which is up here for some reason, yeah. and not in the nitty gritty of, yeah. Kelly saying eagle too my whole life, not in the nitty gritty <laughs> of like the stuff. Yeah. 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 So, wow. Can feather. You, yes. Yeah. <laughs> eagle feather. <laughs> so, help me understand. Yeah. You have the possibility of leading many people. You know that. Mm -hmm that there is a part of you that is just a natural ego, a natural leader. Is there any question as to where you are leading the flock? No. Oh, did you, oh, I, you didn't even need your finger on no. that one. All no. right, so there's no doubt as to where you're leading them. Yes. Yeah, speak that. 
Yes, there's no doubt. Mm -hmm. No, I don't have doubt about that. It's my my it, mine is more about the 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 how to support them. It's mm -hmm. not where I'm leading them. Okay, the how to support them. Yeah. Okay. The how. All right. So, have you looked at some of the the possibilities of how? So I hear you saying it could be with a book, it could be with a tour, right. it could be with online classes. Yeah. yeah. So for just a moment, imagine those are already things that you know, and take your feather mm -hmm. and just, just say, oh divine source, reveal to me, mm -hmm. yet, eagle's way. Mm. Reveal to me. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> Those of you that are watching, I can wish you could feel what we're feeling in eagles this room. Eagles has e landed. Eagles have landed. <laughs> Or eagles have flown. 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 Yeah. 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 So uh, just be wild. Like, would you look at mm. eagles' way, mm. soaring, mm. and inviting others to soar? Mm. Like, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Right. Wow. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. We're making a lot of sounds over here. Mm. <laughs> yeah. It feels... Um, I think my mind wants so much to to make things small and and um, uh, what's the word <laughs> like small and like so Manageable. that I can swallow them <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah as opposed to like this this big vision that an eagle has that's soaring and sees like everywhere yeah I want to kind of make it easier and palatable and and digestible and like manageable yeah. It feels safer, but does it feel too much? <laughs> You're asking the too much woman. I know. It feels too much. Yeah, the responsibility feels too much sometimes. Yeah, yeah it does. It does. Yeah. It does. So imagine for right now that you are on a high peak, okay. like it's it's Gina's Landing, ah, <laughs> and God. that you have flown there. Tell me when you look out, does it feel like you are alone or that there are many other eagles perched upon and around the mountain in which you have ascended? It's funny because it feels like both. Yeah. It feels very alone, but I sense there's something there. Mm. Mm. So, um, so yeah. just pretend for a minute mm -hmm. that what's there is support. Okay. Whether it's one really supportive mm. person, a supportive team, like just sink into that for a moment. Mm. Like sit in the thought mm. that you have called forth mm. one or two or whatever the number is. <laughs> I like this. Yes, yes. Come on in. Come on in. <laughs> yes. Come on in. Come on in. Mm. So that you're just sitting with your... Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 So when you imagine sitting with your... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is that overwhelming or scary at all? It is a little scary. Mm -hmm. um, it feels... Again, it feels both. It feels a little... It feels relieving to mm -hmm. know that there's other people. And it feels a little bit scary because... Um, there's the responsibility of of them. Mm -hmm. um, there's a question of, of loyalty. Mm -hmm. There's a question of sustainability. Mm -hmm. You know, I had a team this year, mm -hmm. and I let them all go, and so that felt horrible. Mm -hmm. And so I don't want that again. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Yeah, so, it's mixed. Yeah, it's mixed. So this is probably one of the most important questions. Is one of the first things that you need is a solid plan. That's a yes. That's a yes. That's, That's an yes. absolute yes. Yeah. Any resistance to having someone coach you around a strategic eagle plan? You know what the resistance is yeah. that comes up when you said that is my concern with a plan is that once there's a plan, there's there's not a lot of room for as I say it, I know it doesn't make sense, but there's not a lot of room for magic. Wow. So it's like here's the plan, but what if something comes up or yeah. what if an opportunity because this past year has just been like popcorning opportunities so we make a plan and then what if I make a plan to do a series of online classes and I, I don't that's not fun and I don't like it 
Mm. So, so it, it almost feels like it's constrictive. Mm. So which is, which is more that having a plan with freedom or mm -hmm. having no plan? Which is more possible, more what feels better in your body? A plan with freedom. Yeah. Yeah. So it's yes. something we were talking about structure and permission. Yes. Yeah. We were just talking about yes. that. Yes. Is that amazing? That, yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I definitely, there, and there, there is a space for the balance of those two things. I just don't know what that is. Okay. So my, my mind is like a Google search engine, and it's searching for that truth, and I, I've never experienced it, but I know that it's possible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just don't, I, I don't know yet how. Yet, yet. yes, okay. Yeah. So from this little piece of, of saying, can you hold on to the eagle vision? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you know that you have a tool to be in ceremony? Like, yes, yes. I love it. <laughs> and you can you trust your finger? That God. Yes, <laughs> it knows. It knows. All right, absolutely. So, if we were to just breathe into the biggest possibility, let's speak into the possibility that without the details of the plan, somehow there's the result of the plan. Mm. Yeah, mm. yeah. Mm -hmm. And is that result of the plan possible within 2020? Yes. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And if you were to fly, what is the most grounding thing leaving this session today that could take you into flight? What's the most grounding? What if it is knowing that you can sit in ceremony and mm. ask mm. the divine? Trust. Trust, yeah. Mm -hmm. Trust. Mm. Trust. Now, I know you trust in, in the divine. Yep. Yes. I do. Is there anything that you want to make a commitment to do with the divine this year? Uh, I would say to allow the divine to play with me more mm. allow right. the divine to play with you more yeah or and me to me to yeah. play with the divine more <laughs> i think allow more I, my my relationship with the divine tends to be very serious mm. you know i don't allow a lot of it's it, you know usually when i'm in communication it's like heavy yeah and I don't think it has to be that way. And okay. maybe just allowing for a little bit more playfulness. Now, one of my questions is, as we kind of come to a close here, how do you think that most of your fans know that you're a, a divine devotee? I, th I think they do. Okay. Yeah, I talk about divinity a lot. I use a lot of different language uh -huh. to see what okay. clients. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I have to ask them. So that would be a fun question for those that are watching. Do you realize that part of the too much woman message has been very spiritual? It's mm -hmm. been what your intention behind it has been. Yeah. Yeah, I worry about that. I, 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 I've said to you, I worry, I worry about the fact that, um, that my message is misunderstood. Mm. That it, mm. is, it does come from a very deep spiritual place. Mm. But because... Um, Again, unintentionally, five minutes was was um, plastered everywhere, and forty million people watched five minutes. I, cons I was concerned that it was misunderstood. Okay. Yeah. So, if you would affirm to Gina that you have fully understood that she is a divinely spiritual eagle, thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what if you haven't been misunderstood? What if, in fact, your message? has allowed people to connect with their divinity. Mm, mm. I, that does feel true. Yeah. That does feel true. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. Yay. Absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> Thank you so much for all of you that have tuned in today. Thank you for loving Gina and just having the unconditional regard for her. Yes. Thank you for seeing her as a spiritual woman, an eagle, a mm. leader. Yes. If you are interested in having a similar experience to this, and are interested in a coaching session, we invite you to tune in to 
guidanceoncall.com. It's a new service that is offered by Southwest Institute of Healing Arts. It's featuring the graduates of our coaching program. Wow. And anybody that is interested in guidance, very similar to this, we've done this in 30 minutes or less. Cool. What would you say will be your takeaway? Yeah, oh. Um, well, definitely I'm gonna sit and think about the eagle and what that really yeah. means because that's come up so many times and I mm. love that that symbolically it's come up in this conversation mm. and then it came up in our conversation so that's mm. going to be huge and I also I'm going to sit with saying I love the the acronym and I want to just play with that in different areas of my life so yeah <laughs> okay absolutely yeah. thank you thank you so uh, we just want to acknowledge one of the comments that just came in I worry about being misunderstood as well the struggle is real because I understand Gina you are a divine spiritual messenger so mm. that's beautiful mm. I mean Part of the, you, perhaps the connection is that many people feel un misunderstood mm -hmm. too much something. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's, that is the whole message. The whole, yeah. The whole message. And yeah. it's getting, it's divinely, it's getting us to get divinely connected with who we truly are. Yeah. And I think if we're connected divinely to who we truly are, then there's less impetus to feel like we have to explain Ooh. to anyone else and I think I think too Mel I just want to say to you since you wrote that is that um, when when I can get very clear about owning my well, I call it my too muchness it's it's however I show up as I am mm -hmm. then I then you watch me and I watch you and and we watch KC in her too muchness and it, it naturalizes <laughs> yeah, it and exactly. we realize it's okay like right. I've watched Casey stand in her too muchness for two days now and it <laughs> gives me permission to become even more myself exactly right? right so we're all models for each other so I'm, I'm grateful say, for that yeah you gotta be gaudy it's like do gaudy jewelry you uh, just, do gaudy divine whatever is you yeah, yeah, like go all the way all like the don't way. be you 50 percent, 70 percent, even 93 percent. like go all in yeah, go all, all in. in. Go in. So go in all as an eagle. Yes. Spiritual eagle. Yes. 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 Thank you so much for tuning in. Yes. We appreciate you so much. If you Thank are you. interested in any more support, just go to the website, uh, guidanceoncall.com, and we will connect you with a coach from Southwest Institute of Healing Arts. That Let's is so you. cool. Isn't that cool? So cool. Yeah, yeah. guidance on call. Do yeah. it. Do it. So cool. Bye, everybody. Right, Thank bye. you, Casey. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. <laughs> You're awesome. Yeah. <laughs>